Good morning, folks. We're starting in 304 angstroms because the story on our star today is all about the plasma filaments, including one that erupted right near the center. They've been dancing around the limb for a few days now, and so let's begin at spaceweathernews.com and find the last 24 hours on our star pretty darn quiet until the very end of the sequence. Watch for a pop and release coming. Still no sunspots, and this was not a solar flare event, but a coronal discharge did look explosive at the bright region while the central earth-facing filament destabilized and released. None of the coronagraphs are showing any ejecta, certainly none coming at Earth, and this event was relatively small. Still a considerably more energetic surface event than we've been seeing even when we actually had sunspots early last week. The filament itself did not exit the corona. Its release was fountaining up to the North Pole, just like we saw recently at the Western Limb. Just this time it happened directly facing us. Things definitely getting a bit more active up there. Let's look at weather, where last night's lightning had numerous places of interest nationwide, but none stronger than in Florida. Worst of the weather, however, appears to have hit Texas, where it was eerily reminiscent of Hurricane Harvey, including some small tornadoes filmed widely by the locals. For a few days, we've been watching Hurricane Fabio in the East Pacific, but this is the West Pacific Maria. Powerful system intensified yesterday near Guam is set to track northward over the coming days. Last night in our top science news, we discussed gravity's homogeneity across cosmic distance. Today, we see a trinary system of stars has given another validation. Almost no room left for modified gravity and mond. Up next, we're looking at cosmic car crashes. The cars here are galaxies. There are numerous examples visible across the cosmos, and even right here at our Milky Way we know of many interacting dwarf galaxies, such as the Sagittarius Dwarf, which collided and distended around us. Today, though, we get word that scientists have found evidence of a sausage-like bulge in our galactic disk. They say it must be the result of a collision long ago that has loaded that side of the galaxy. Interesting word choices, I must say. Up next, we've got one of the top Chinese solar teams reporting a 50 simulation run of the next solar cycle based on what best recreated the past. They actually found a chance for a stronger solar cycle coming than what we just had. Something slightly weaker is not wholly outside of their model, but much more of their potential range appears to show a sunspot number around 100 to 150 at peak of the cycle. It seems like once again, the global bin of forecasts coming in is spreading high and low. If you didn't catch last night's top science news, it is your featured link below this video today. That series can get you caught up on months of top news in just a few short minutes. Website members, Deeper Look 55 on the year is out and follows up that coupling introduction. Space weather versus cosmic rays, both have electrical coupling with Earth, but they are very different animals. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 425 AM in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.